Hey Flob and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be modding Beat Saber for version 1.24.0. The core mod support was just released on August 14th, so let's get into it. Okay, a couple important things I need to mention before we get this tutorial started. App sharing tends to mess up the modding process, so what we're going to do is go into your Quest 2 headset, go to settings, go to account, and then make sure that app sharing is turned off and also that there are no other accounts linked. I also want to mention that I keep the pinned comment up to date with any relevant information, frequently asked questions, troubleshooting, so if you're having any issues uh, along with the video, check the pinned comment. Okay, last important bit here is developer mode. You have to have a developer account and enable it within your Oculus app for you to be able to mod your game, which is exactly what I'm going to get into now, so let's get started. Okay, so to create a developer account, you have to go to developer.oculus.com. I put a link in the description, it is the first link in the description below. You need to log into your Oculus account, and then you can click the drop down here, go to create, choose your organization name, and then read everything before you agree. Again, make sure you're paying attention to what you agree to. Okay, after you've signed up for developer mode, you need to enable it, so get your device, and you're gonna go to your Oculus app, go to devices, and then scroll down to developer mode, and then enable it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is download and install SideQuest. So go ahead and click the second link in my description below. After clicking the link, you should be met with this page here. You're gonna want to install the advanced installer. That's what I'm gonna be using for this video. The easy installer will put SideQuest on your headset, so feel free to explore that if you want, but I will not be covering that in this video. Okay, once SideQuest is installed, go ahead and launch the application. We next need to grab our Quest 2 headsets and go ahead and plug it in to your PC or your laptop, whatever you're using. You should get a pop-up window asking to allow USB debugging. You're gonna hit allow, you're gonna hit allow, and then sometimes I get met with a third one. Don't know why it comes back around again, but make sure you allow all of them. So if you're showing connected, let's go ahead and go to search and type in BMBF. And we are going to download slash sideload this app. You'll see a little success in the corner when it's done. And let's go ahead and get in the headset. Okay, so we need to make sure Beat Saber is up to date. Mine is not updated, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Update now. Beat Saber does need to be on the current version of Beat Saber for this to work. and. Currently, the current version is uh, 1.24.0. That's the one that we're modding for today. Okay, once Beat Saber is updated, let's go ahead and launch it really quick. We are going to look down at our feet, and once we've confirmed we're on the right version, let's go ahead and just play any song and let yourself fail really quickly. Okay, go ahead and close out of Beat Saber now. All right, next we're gonna click on Apps, and then All in the top right corner. And you're gonna scroll all the way down to unknown resources. You're gonna to want to launch BMBF. I encourage everyone to read through the steps as we go along just so that you understand what the modding process is doing. So right here, we're gonna uninstall Beat Saber. You're just gonna to have to wait for it. Sometimes it's pretty quick, sometimes it takes longer. And then you'll get a pop-up saying, do you wish to uninstall this app? We're gonna go with yes. Now we are going to patch it and install the modded version. Again, we're just gonna sit here and wait for this to do its process. All right, install modded Beat Saber, let's go. Install, yes. Okay, so you're gonna get this pop-up that asks you to restore the app. We are gonna hit close. We are not restoring it because restoring it will put it back on the unmodded version. So, now that Beat Saber is installed, let's go ahead and hit done. Do not open it yet. And we're gonna close out of BMBF. And relaunch it. So if you've modded in the past, they do have an option that you can restore your playlist. This one is okay to restore. I only had two songs downloaded, but you know, they're still there. So since I have modded before, I'm gonna go ahead and as a precaution, go to tools and go to quick fix. And go ahead and sync that. Um, this just makes sure that, you know, my mods are the right ones that are on there and it doesn't have like old mods on there that I had before. So if you're having any issues, 
um, throughout your modding process or your game is crashing, go ahead and do the same thing. Go to tools, quick fix, and then sync it. And that should help you. All right, so even if you didn't do what I just did, you wanna make sure that it says start Beat Saber up here and it's not red and says sync. If it's showing that, you're definitely gonna to want to um, sync it before you play. So you can click on the mods tab here and it'll show you all the mods that are currently installed on your headset. These are gonna be all the core mods that BMBF already had loaded. Make sure to select open app every time you launch Beat Saber and do not restore. Okay, so Beat Saber is modded and ready to go for custom songs at this point. So if all you wanted were custom songs, you were good to go and have fun. If you wanted to get wall maps and like crazy lighting effects and other mods, uh, stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, if you're looking to get those extra mods, go ahead and click the quest board link in my description below. And you're gonna go to released mods. And we're already on 124.0 right now, but if it's, you know, if you're watching this video from the future, <laughs> choose the correct version that you're working on. And then here's where you're gonna go through and decide what all mods that you would like to download. Obviously, I want Chroma, so let's download that. What else? I like HitScore Visualizer. Noodle Extensions is a must. Do you want those wall maps? And there's really a lot of good ones in here. Just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, Saber Tailor is a good one that I use but pretty much just scroll through and grab all of the mods that you're looking for. There's little descriptions for each of them. Um, and this is where you're gonna find all the mods that are supported currently. Custom Sabers for Quest were actually updated after I recorded this video. So check the pinned comment for a link to my Custom Sabers tutorial. All right, once you picked out all the mods you want, go ahead and launch SideQuest again and make sure that you're showing connected in the top left corner, allow access in the headset and all that jazz. Then you're going to put on your Quest 2 headset, go back into BMBF, and then click on Tools. Then you're gonna see in the top right corner here where it says Accessible Via Browser at HTTP, and then all of this in between. You need to type it exactly word for word as it is here in your browser. Now, this part here is pretty important because it's not gonna work if you don't do it right. So what I do is I keep my headset on my forehead so that it stays awake. But once you get everything typed into your browser exactly how it is, then you have to make sure your headset's awake and showing connected in SideQuest before you hit enter. Otherwise, the page isn't gonna load. So if you typed everything incorrectly, you should be met with the upload files page. You can either click in the center or drag and drop. So you should be seeing queued in the bottom right corner every time to see that the mod was going through and then you're just gonna hit sync to Beat Saber. So you should be showing success on all of them. If you don't see success popping up, the mods did not load. So something went wrong in your transfer. All right, let's take a look and see if our mods are there. When you launch Beat Saber, you're gonna get a pop-up saying restore app. You're always just gonna hit open app because again, if you restore it, it's just gonna put it back to the unmodded version. All right, it works. We've got Saber Tailor or hit score visualizer. Okay, let's look for a wall map and test this out, shall we? And that's it for our tutorial today. I hope the video was helpful to you, and if it was, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna catch more videos like this in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you had any troubles, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching.